Now, ladies, guys, you, you want to listen to this. When a guy walks into a room, how long does it take for you to know whether he's got a chance at all? Three seconds. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Three to five seconds. Guy walks in the room, girl's like, <laughs> yep, we're done. <laughs> she already knows. By the way you move, the way you carry yourself, what you're doing. Everything you do matters. And by the end of this uh, little talk, I want you guys to think about going really introspective. Start really thinking about what you are, who you are, what you do, how you react to things, how you act, how you walk around. You can see me anytime walking around. I do not walk around like I don't know what I'm doing. I own this room. I own any room I'm in, whether I do or not. I walk in, I'm like, and not in a dick way. It's just like, I love this room. You guys are awesome. You're playing with me. Come on, let's go. Woo! You know? That's fun. That's an inviting way of being. You know, it's something where somebody wants to, oh, that guy, huh, he knows something that I don't. <laughs> let's go talk to him. You know, and so I don't go, hey, what's with you? I don't do that. I'm like, oh, hey, good to meet you. That's fantastic. Let's talk about this together. It's fun. Uh, it's A lot of times I'm going to be talking about things that kind of cross over with business stuff. So I've been a businessman for all my life. And uh, that's actually the sec second book I'm going to be coming out with. I'm already already moving ahead. There's a, a book. Well, should I talk about it at all? Should I say anything? No? Yes. Well, he, he's saying yes. She's like, yes, no. Yes, do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Well, okay. Well, I've got a book based on uh, sales tips. Any salesmen here? Any salesmen? You know, the Zig Ziglar and Norman Vincent Peale and all, every, all the sales techniques that you've got out there, they all work with dating. We do it. You don't know it. You're using sales techniques every time you try to date somebody. It's so funny. So I'm calling it Coitus is for Closers. Yes. Yes. Do it. So I'll be talking about some things like uh, the takeaway. You know the takeaway. That's the best thing ever. You've got to be in a constant state of the takeaway. And what that means is, if you're doing a deal, well, see, I did real estate for years. So I'm doing a real estate deal, and I'm, you're sitting there at the table, and somebody wants to do a deal with you. The first person, if you can walk away from that table and not care if you make that deal. There's no desperation, there's no need. You're just like, yeah, I want to be here because it's cool. I'll make this deal. Oh, you don't want to make the deal? No problem. Quite right. This person over here is going, but, 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 but wait, I want to. And that's a place of power. That's a place of solid, you know, very, very cool place to be. And the same thing with dating. If you come across as needy or desperate, ladies, it has an odor, does it not? Does. You can smell desperation. Yes. And it does not smell good. It smells like anime fans. Wow. Oh. 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 Ow! my balls! Ah. <laughs> real, that was a joke. I'm That's alright. No, but I tell you, it does smell like Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a con in uh, MDK in uh, Denver, it's a great con, and the lady who ran the con there used to have a holster with Febreze in it. <laughs> she was awesome. She'd be walking out of things, so like, hey, 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 come here, give me, give me, give me. Turn around. Get out of here. <laughs> she was great. She was so cool. Well, that's the thing, you've got to realize, A, de definitely, uh, guys, hygiene. Take a freaking shower. <laughs> if you think you smell, you really smell. Because we, our sense of smell, guys, is not anywhere near as attuned as women's. Women's uh, smell is like three times better than ours. So if you think, oh, I smell pretty good, she's like, no, you know. <laughs> I smell like ass and regret. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you want to be careful of that. And there's a little tip. One of my, uh, uh, one of the little quickies that I have on there is about, uh, it's a real simple little thing. Uh, when you're hopefully, you're going to be close enough to a woman to do some kissing. A little smooching from time to time. That's a good thing. Thank you. So, one of the things you've got to have is good breath, right? Well, there's all kinds of stuff about the mouthwash, etc., etc., but nobody really touts, and this is what dentists have told, uh, told me, is the tongue has all this junk on it. Does anybody have a tongue scraper? You use tongue scrapers? Those things are phenomenal. 
You're like, you brush your teeth, you brush your tongue, you brush everything, you're great. And I'm like, I'm great, I am feeling fantastic. And then you go, tongue scraper, <laughs> goo. <laughs> <laughs> so get a tongue scraper, it costs like two bucks or something like that. Use that sucker because that's, you're going to be fresh and cool and women like that. Right, ladies? Yeah. yeah. Chocolate chip cookies! <laughs> <laughs> You're in! <laughs>